What's up, what's up, guys? Uh, here we go. This here is the X-Men Classics Phasing Phoenix. Uh, this figure, a lot of you probably didn't even know it existed because it's not supposed to. Uh, this here is the holy grail of all my figures over my Blue Wasp, over my Psylocke, Black Psylocke, uh, over my Luke Cage, over all my prototypes. Uh, this figure here I value the most. Uh, this was supposed to be part of the X-Men Classics 3 line. I confirmed this with Jesse Falcon. I had talked to him about this figure. And he told me they were going to come out with an X-Men 3 Classics line. They were going to actually, they were actually supposed to make all the classic characters of the X-Men universe. Which is, you know, they, they were going to go ahead and give us, you know, all the characters from the X-Men. Including, uh, you know, Jean Grey in her classic uniform and all these other. Because they just never made it out. Which sucks because that would have been such an awesome line. Uh, here we have the one that you all have, which is the Series 6 Phoenix. Uh, comes with the same base as this Phasing Phoenix. Uh, really, there's not too much of a difference except for the fact that her hair, her arms, and her legs are phasing. And of course, the packaging here. We've got the X Men Classics packaging. Uh, here we'll look at some details on the back. Now, this figure here. Uh, there's only one. See these numbers here? These numbers are uh, the package prototype numbers of, the, of, of this box here. And this was actually given to a sales rep. And this sales rep was to take this figure out and use it as a sales tool to sell it to you know comic shops and stores to carry this figure. Uh, and this figure uh, actually was uh, found in a storage unit, uh, somebody bought a storage unit full of Marvel Legends, and it looked like it must have been a rep's storage unit. And this guy that bought it is actually a, has a, has a toy store. Uh, it's 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 called a toy store. Is the name of the toy store? How weird! How huh? it's called a toy store? I believe that's what it's called. And uh, it's up in New Jersey. And the person that actually found this was Dirt Nap for you. Uh, for those guys that are subscribed, he found it. And he called me up and he was like, hey, Solid, I found this figure. I don't think you have it. And I was like, no, I don't have it. That figure is super, super rare. However, this guy that had it at the store, <laughs> he knew it's a rare figure. So we were negotiating a hefty price. Uh, this figure did not come cheap. I did pay big bucks for that figure and it was well worth it. Don't ask me how much I paid for it because I'm not going to tell you. Uh... <laughs> it, it was quite a bit, but uh, the fig the box is actually not in the greatest condition. It's it's just a tad bit beat up, but it will go out for grading. That figure, there's really only one. There's another guy on MarvelousNews.com that has uh, the same figure, but his Phoenix is just a regular Phoenix. It's not phasing, so it's basically this Phoenix, the Series Six Phoenix Phoenix packaged in the X Men Classics package, which is the same figure. This one here is translucent which makes her special anyways let's go over the articulation here we've got the uh, bicep swivel twice right one in the center of the bicep and one at the shoulder where the bicep and shoulder meet double jointed elbows this figure has a whopping 44 points of articulation crazy the hair is phasing on the X-Men classics it's translucent so is the arm right you can see that and the legs, sorry here, this one's beat up. This is actually my daughter's uh, Phoenix, so I'm using hers. But the legs are also phasing. We'll take a quick look at that. Uh, let's bend the camera down here. There you go, right where the uh, thigh swivel is, kind of like the uh, DC UC classics. So uh, there she is, in all her glory. Uh, we'll bring in a figure for size comparison. Uh, I'll bring in a shield agent for size comparison. But uh, this figure here is definitely my holy grail. Uh, there was only one in existence, this one that is packaged. There is two more Phoenix uh, classics that are packaged, but they're not phasing. So this makes it a one of a kind, uh, which is really, really awesome. And uh, we'll go over some paint stuff. So here's my uh, custom Steve Rogers that was made for a shield agent. We'll go ahead and put him right next to her just for uh, size comparison. Now, he is a little bit taller because he's on heels. Let me take those heels off. Okay, there we, <laughs> there we go. He was on a stand. So, pretty much the same size. Uh, no difference. Now, let me know, guys, if you want me to review the rest of the rare figures uh, that I have. Even though I'm not going to open them out of package, I can just review 
uh, the same figure that's the non-variant figure just like I did here um, and, and show you guys everything else that I have if that's something you'd like to see on video then leave me the com you know leave some comments below and let me know hey man we want to see the rest of your goods solid break them all out and uh, and we'll do that a um, few things that I did want to go over with the comparisons between this figure and the X-Men classics uh, I don't know if you guys noticed but if you look at the chest emblem where the Phoenix is painted uh, it, it's actually it's actually a little smaller uh, it's painted actually I believe it's painted nicer on the X-Men classics see how sharp it is how sharply it comes down and how neat it is and then also they put black lining uh, around the legs as well uh, see at the bottom there how her right before it phases it's got black lining around the yellow and here it's just yellow so a little bit more attention to detail for the uh, phasing Phoenix uh, man this this would have been an awesome figure to have right her phasing out so can you imagine having the red one the variant phasing uh, or completely phasing that would have been really awesome Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Sorry I'm, uh, I'm a day late from my Saturday show here. Thanks for tuning in, and stay tuned for uh, my first display show coming up this week. Take care, y'all.